single prophet that ever came to this earth preached and taught the message. So the woman in this video was pretty much just going through the internet Muslim apologetics playbook, a lot of which I have already addressed in past videos, so I won't repeat that here. What I want to talk about in this video is this Muslim claim that the past prophets, including Jesus, really taught the message of Islam. This claim is nothing more than historical fabrication. It is Muslims inventing a historical narrative to give credence to their view that is not only without evidence from the historical record, but it is actually directly refuted by the historical data that we have. And in this video, I want to specifically zoom in on one of these historical blunders namely the idea that Jesus was a messenger of Islam. Before I get started in that, I want to make a preliminary remark about a very silly tactic that Muslims use, which is they go through the Gospels, find a quote by Jesus that they think supports Islam, and then they make the claim that this quote shows that Jesus proclaimed an Islamic message. If you want to make the claim that Jesus proclaimed an Islamic message, you can't just quote mine sections of the Gospels to find passages that you think support your view, and then ignore all the sections of scripture in which Jesus says things that directly contradict your view. This is what the Muslim woman in this video is doing. She says, oh, look, Jesus references Deuteronomy 6.4, which says God is one, therefore he is Unitarian. Then they ignore all the scriptures in which Jesus makes abundantly clear that he views himself as divine and verses in which he articulates a Trinitarian theology. That said, I want to address the historical bankruptcy, which is the Muslim claim that Jesus taught an Islamic message. When we look at the first several centuries after the death of Christ, we don't see any Muslims. From the very earliest uh, sources we have in the first and second century, we see the teachings that Jesus is divine, that he was crucified, that he was resurrected, and that he is the Davidic Messiah. When we look at how the earliest extra-biblical writings depict the emerging Christian movement, we see nothing supporting the idea that, it, that an Islamic message was preached by Jesus. Even sources hostile to the Christian movement, like Pliny the Younger, depict the earliest Christians as worshipping Jesus. If Christ was really preaching an Islamic message, where is it? Where are all the faithful Muslims causing controversy and rebellion against these supposed false doctrines? Now, I'm sure my Muslim Muslim friends are cracking their fingers getting ready to fill the comments of this video about how we don't see the Islamic teachings of Christ because it was all corrupted by Paul and the earliest Christians and so on. And I want to warn you that your holy book has already ruled out that as an option. Surah 355 and 6114 explicitly says that Allah will cause the followers of Christ to prevail over the enemies of Christ. Yet we see not even a hint of Islamic followers of Christ within our earliest writings. It is clearly the case that the prevailing teachings were that Jesus was the unique son of God who died and was raised from the dead. So either the Quran is telling the truth and Allah did make the true followers of Christ prevail, in which case you should all be Christians because that was the prevailing view over the centuries, or the Quran was wrong in this claim, in which case you should abandon your faith in Islam. I want to end this video by noting to my Muslim friends that you need to show that there were Muslim followers of Christ by using the earliest historical evidence we have, not by referencing a book that comes 600 years later and whose very validity is in question here.